Hi everyone and welcome back to Scale Studio. Today we're going to be building uh, up the Striker a little further. Um, unfortunately I lost about 50 gigs of video files. Um, don't know how it happened. It was kind of a, a weird uh, situation. But I've already painted it and I lost all the video for that. Um, and so really just go back to my Centurion video and you'll be able to see kind of my strategy for painting and post shading and stuff like that. Um, there will be a card um, and a link down in the description. Uh, but today we're going to be working on some camo medic nets from AK Interactive because they look really neat and they're pretty common on most armored vehicles, uh, at least modern ones. Uh, so let's get started. So AK makes these nets um, that it's basically just fabric that replicates the uh, camouflage nets that you can find on most armored vehicles. Um, and really it just comes in a cellophane wrapper, you unwrap it, you get about a foot and a half by a foot and a half of um, material, and then you break it apart like this with your fingers to open up the pattern and um, make it look like the camo net. Beforehand it's just kind of like tacked together with very small pieces of fabric. Um, but you cut off the piece you need, pull it apart like this, and you can be a little rough with it. Uh, even if you rip the fabric in some places, don't, don't be too rough with it because if you have a ton of rips it'll look bad but you can rip it in uh, some places because it won't really show up. Then you can spray paint it any color you want. Um, it comes in white, tan, or green. I'm going to be using the white one because it's much more customizable um, and I'm able to use it for more projects instead of being stuck with one color. Um, so for the one that we're going to be working on, um, I painted this green and then I did a light camo pattern of brown stripes over it because this is kind of what I saw on a uh, striker photo that I found. Um, I also did a white tarp um, just because I felt like it would be kind of cool since um, some of the marines are uh, in uh, are deployed to a snowy environment. I can't remember if it's Scandinavia or Norway. I think it's Norway. Um, but you can ha you have a picture of an Abrams with white camo tarps on it, um, which looks pretty neat. But you can see here that I'm just blending in different oils and enamels. You can use washes or oil paints or any whatever you want to kind of give some random variation to the net. Um, and if you don't do it, it's fine, but this way it kind of gives it more life and a used look. So I'm going to use some white, um, I believe yellow, and some green to accentuate the green colors and fade it out a little bit um, and just add some random variation. The nice thing about this net is it's super robust, so it'll take any weathering products you want because it's also pretty porous. And so when you use thin down weathering products, it'll just kind of seep in and blend itself. Um, I always blend it afterwards because it will leave a slight edge um, and blending it helps tone down the color and make it blend in with the rest of the the net. But you can see it's super easy just to add uh, paint and then blend it in uh, any way you want. I go for a pretty high contrast uh, final look just because that's the way I like to model um, but you can see that it looks pretty cool. Um, I think most of it's just the pattern of the net is super unique. It's not a tarp um, which is most of what you see, so it just adds some uniqueness to your build. Um, and I saw these so much on Strikers that I, I felt like I really wanted to do it. Um, I also messed up on some of the anti-slip on the front sections, which is why I'm going to be using this to um, <clears throat> cover up some of my mistakes. Because, um, yeah, I didn't want to deal with it, and it still looks pretty realistic. I have a photo um, of them using a net on the same place that I put them so I feel like that's fine as you can see here this is the white net that I was talking about I'm positioning it over the front of the engine deck um, you can see that I'm just gonna lay it out like this and then all you have to do is take some thin down PVA and let it soak into the net and then shape it to the way you want um, I want to use VMS paper shaper on my next project to see if it works the same way I'm not sure if it will um, but it's worth a shot just to see how versatile their product is because I already have it plus their paper um, to make tarps, but I want to see if it'll work here as well.
Now, once we have the paper shape to our liking, I'm going to actually add a couple more dust effects with some Wilder um, Aqualine products. This is their light mud product, um, and it's pretty light to use as mud in my opinion, but it works well for really light dust effects, uh, especially if it's well blended. Um, all it really does is kind of desaturate the uh, tones on the tarp and make it look a bit more realistic. Um, one thing I noticed when researching for this project is that Strikers got really dusty, um, and so I want to kind of emulate that with what we're doing um, with this and in future uh, weathering steps. I don't want to make it too dusty because it can tone down all of the post shading that we did, um, but some slight amounts can add a lot of realism, especially since crew members are going to be walking along the top of the striker a lot, and it's a very flat um, uh, hole. Up, upper hole so it's going to be pretty easy to get dust on there and since the texture's there it might be hard to get off at least that's my reasoning uh, for the future weathering steps I'm going to be doing now in this video I also decided to uh, just add a slight wash with my uh, enamel Tamiya panel liner uh, this is the black version especially since we're going for more of a, like a gray shading effect not a um, not a tan based one so basically we're desaturating the color um, as we're going instead of saturating it heavily. Um, basically all you do is you use gray tones to lighten it instead of tan tones and it'll desaturate it instead of uh, maintaining the saturation. Uh, this will help in dust effects. And it's why I chose to use a black panel liner color. All you have to do with a panel liner wash like this is run it into areas that you want uh, with a little bit of a shadow. So anything with a ridge or anything like that, any panel lines or bolt heads. Uh, and then wipe it away with some thinner on a brush. Um, I went a little heavy with the cleanup here, but really I'm not great at washes and I need to practice on it. Um, but you can see that it kind of helps accentuate some details. And unfortunately that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Um, and if you're not subscribed yet, please do subscribe because this striker is getting pretty cool and uh, I'd love for you guys to be here. Uh, as I finish it up. Um, also, big thank you to all my amazing Patreons. Um, you guys really help me to uh, stay motivated with these builds, especially since they can take forever and my mojo generally declines after a couple months. Um, but you guys keep me uh, pumped to continue, and um, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, if you want to join them, you guys can click the link in the description and go check it out, um, or there will be a card on the screen about now. Um, to direct you to the page. It only takes about 30 seconds and it helps me immensely for like as little as one dollar a month um, I post on there regularly a bunch of fit, uh, photo, photos and uh, Just commentaries on what I'm doing. Um, I generally go more in depth on there than I do on here um, Just because in videos it's a little harder to film something than take a couple pictures afterwards and explain what I'm doing um, so if you want to see those blog style posts um, or just kind of stay more updated with what I'm doing, go and check it out. It helps me immensely, and uh, thank you very much. Um, next week, we're going to be doing some simple chipping and um, maybe a little bit of mud and dust. I'm not sure about that yet, though. But until then, happy modeling, and we'll see you next time.